Well, normally this Woke Watch segment features an organization or person whose irrational and hypocritical wokeness is an easy source of amusement and derision. But tonight's segment is bigger than that. It's a battle for woke supremacy between two heavyweight titans. In the green corner, weighing in at six billion pounds worth of environmental subsidies is Drax, the former coal-fired power plant in Yorkshire that is now fueled by wood chips. And in the other green corner, weighing in at a more modest annual budget of 800 million pounds, is the BBC, funded by the humble British taxpayer, but purveyor extraordinaire of the global woke movement. And what a global story this is. The BBC sent a film crew to track the wood chips Drax was sourcing in British Columbia, Canada, and found, allegedly, that old growth forests were being chopped down to be sent off to Drax's furnaces. Drax's energy is considered green because, unlike the coal the plant previously used, the wood chips are classified as renewable. Then the BBC produced footage like this. Goodness me. It's devastating. Nothing stirs the anger of environmentalists more than footage of a denuded forest with a violin soundtrack. Drax is defending the allegations, saying most of the felled timber went off to be used locally for construction, and it bought only the straggly offcuts and wood chips from the ground. It has also threatened to send in the lawyers. But why bother with expensive lawyers? Drax has already won this fight. It is doing what it can to keep Britain's lights on during a severe winter of energy discontent. If it was really smart, it would drop the green pretensions altogether and offer to burn whatever it took to keep the lights on in Britain during this current energy crisis. As we all know, nothing cures wokeness quicker than the offer of cheap energy in the middle of winter.